Welcome back to our channel. Thank you for tuning in and thank you for supporting us. But if you're new to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please encourage us by doing so and we shall bring you the latest news as they happen. And together we shall support our great leader, Mazen Namdekano, IPOB and Eastern Security Network to make and put the Fulani Janjawi to shame. He say, Buhare Impostor and the Fulani Caliphate mocked Igbo and Yoruba politicians that they are very gullible. Fulani does not belong to any political party that the Fulani Janjaweed will only vote for any party that feels a Fulani presidential candidate. They are very angry with Mazen Namdekano for exposing the Fulani Janjaweed plan earlier than it was supposed to because they believe by now their evil and wicked plans would have succeeded. According to report, Buhare Postor also rock cabal planning to impose another Fulani president. According to ruling APC group, alleged the cabal comprising some members of Buhare extended family and friends are the powers behind the throne. The Equity and Justice Forum, a group under the ruling All Progressive Congress, APC, have accused Buhare Impostor and members of Aso Rock Cabal of planning to retain power in the North come 2023 presidential election. The group is said to have the ears of the president influence policy making and determine those who get major appointments. James Olakunle, coordinator of the group, said the North has had a turn of eight years at presidency and should support power shift to the southern region for equity and justice. Where Mazin and the Kano was warning them, telling them the truth about the Fulani Janjaweed, about their conquest agenda, no one took him serious. And now they are learning it in a hard way. Olakunle asked Buhari to ignore the cabal and support a southern presidential candidate in line with the idea of a rotational presidency between the north and the south. The statement reads, We wish to draw the attention of the nation to the ongoing underhand steaming by Buhari Postal and the people around him in Aso Rock. To retain power in the North come 2023 presidential election. According to Olakunle, he said, when they say the North, they mean the imposition of another Fulani oligarchy candidate on the nation, apart from the country having had enough of the Fulani Janjaweed misrule, it is only fair and equitable that power shift to the South. At this time, if they are interested in building a unified and resilient nation, the unity beggars are only wasting their time and helping the Fulani Janjaweed. The Fulani Janjaweed are not interested in handing over power because their agenda has not been completed. They want to rule Nigeria permanently. They don't want to hand over. And that is why Mazen Namdekano saw it and told the southern politicians, told the southerners, told Biafrans, that the best solution now is referendum. Let everyone go their way. But they refused to listen. The northern political oligarchies have had their turn of eight years at presidency and it is time to shift power to the South. Some people who are being clever by half may argue that this is undemocratic, but in Nigerian context, 
This is the only way to ensure equity and give all the parts of Nigeria a sense of belonging. Some of the opponents of power shift today were the most strident critics of Jonathan in 2011 and 2015. And their hobby, horse, was that power must shift to the north. In order to complete the tenor of the late Fulani Musa Yaradua, it is a mark of high level of dishonesty amongst the northern Fulani politicians that today many of them are lining up to contest for the same presidency after eight years of Buhari's regime. According to Allah Kunle, they believe that Buhari himself is a party to this king to retain power in the north. Buhari is interested in that. He is the one pushing for it because he wants to ensure that the Fulani agenda is completed. What is obvious is that the northern political oligarchy is not restricted by party affiliations in their bid to retain power, which means that if they cannot get what they want in the ruling APC, they will swing to PDP in order to get it. If you doubt this, please reflect on the import of the recent secretive consultations between Buhari and the Fulani Sokoto governor, Tambual, a declared presidential candidate of the opposition party, PDP. Both PDP and APC are Fulani evil political parties. We are sounding this warning, according to Allah Kunle, because any arrangement to foist another Fulani on Nigeria will not go well for the country. Mazin Abdekano told them this, that the North will not want to relinquish power. But not, no one wants to believe him. You know, they didn't believe him. And now they are seeing what he told them. Mazin Abdekano is a prophet. These are the attitudes and actions that have propelled the emergence of Mazen Abdekano of IPOB and Sunday Boho of Odua Nation. This came by the Northern political oligarchy under the clandestine support of Buhari impostor justify the agitation of IPOB and Odua Nation, another proponent of separation, because no self-respecting person or people we agree to remain under the perpetual subjugation of another man. The Fulani wants to rule Nigeria perpetually. And they want to overrun the whole of Nigeria, including Biafra land. Our forefathers refused to live under the continual rule of the British colonial masters during the colonial era. They struggled and retained independence for the nation. It should be noted that the struggle for independence was mostly championed by Southerners, led by Habat Makoli, Isaac Iwe, Awolowo, Mbonu Ojike, Enahoro, etc. None of the Fulani Janjaweed fought for independence. We wish that they did, but they never, because they are not indigenous to Nigeria. According to Olakunle, they think wisdom should tell the Northern Fulani power block that it will not be possible to enslave a people as educated and dynamic as the people of Southern Nigeria, more so when the Fulani oligarchy has demonstrated an appealing lack of capacity to govern, with Buhari's regime being the optimum of this incompetence. Buhari, imposed and his cohorts, should realize that it is easy to begin a crisis, but nobody can predict the geography and ramification of such a crisis once it starts. In other words, they can scheme all they want, and they may even go ahead to impose their lives on this nation called Nigeria, but after that, the repercussions will be out of their control. Today, Russia, with all their military might, is still struggling against little Ukraine. 
Therefore, let Buharim post on his full army fundamentalists, advisors, not think that they can ride rough showed over the interests of southern Nigeria that self-deceit may lead to the end of the contraption called Nigeria. Nigeria must be a federation, not just in name, but in deed. Each federating unit must have a level of autonomy over its resources and security. Today, Nigeria is embroiled with intractable security challenge, championed by Fulani terrorists and so-called Boko Haram, holding sway over last words of North and some parts of the South. The Buhari administration has failed woefully in resolving these challenges, perhaps because these terrorist and Fulani terrorist bandits were allegedly imported by Buhari and El Rufai and others in order to make Nigeria ungovernable should Jonathan win the 2015 election. However, the Jain has since left the bottle and that they can no longer control their Fulani terrorist food soldiers. These Fulani terrorist bandits are running wild and have perfected the act of wholesale kidnappings and brigandage. Today, one of the biggest risks in Nigeria is to travel by road, by rail, and even by air. Nothing serious is being done to wipe out these Fulani terrorists and their supporters. Nothing is being done. And their sponsors. Nothing is being done. Thank you, my brothers and my sisters, for watching this video. And bye-bye for now.